Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Sunday, March 29th, 2020. It is 3.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And I'm doing this video by request. In my last video and some of my other videos, I mentioned that I do um, consumer surveys online for extra money. They usually pay in gift cards like Walmart or Best Buy or Amazon. Sometimes, rarely, they'll send a check, but usually you get paid in gift cards, either an actual physical gift card or a virtual e-gift card with a number on it and a pin. Like when I do um, surveys on surveysjunkie.com, um, I usually get paid in a Walmart e-gift card. They don't actually send me a physical gift card. They just send me the number and the passcode for that particular gift card and they can use that number and passcode to pay for things on the Walmart website. I'm not being paid to promote these sites. I was asked to do this from another video watcher. One of the people who watches my videos. Um, she wanted to know specifically what are the websites that I go to, to to do consumer surveys and how much do I get paid. It doesn't pay a lot. You have to have patience. It can get tedious. Um, so you have to have patience. Um, it can be repetitive. A lot of the surveys you're disqualified from taking even after you've been through 90% of the survey. They may say you don't qualify to do it even though you just spent 20 minutes or a half hour doing it. And then you are suddenly disconnected from it. That happens a lot. And you don't make a lot. Um, at most, I make $25, $50 on one of the websites a month. So that's something, but it's not something you're going to get rich on. There's no such thing as surveys that pay $50 a survey or $300 a survey. Those are bullshit. If you come across a survey site that needs your credit card information, that's just a ripoff. That's not what the real survey sites do. They don't ask you for your financial information. Because um, that they don't need your credit card numbers. They're not trying to sell you something. And if you come across a survey site, that number one is trying to sell you something. And number two, um, wants your credit card information. That's a scam. Don't go to those websites and don't use them. Um, I will leave links in the, in the description of this video on the specific survey sites that I use. Each one of them has their own rules. Each one of them has their own register process. They're all a little different from each other. They all pay a little bit different from each other. But uh, like I said, I can make anywhere from an extra 50 to to $100 a month doing these surveys. And uh, like I said, you have to have patience um, when you're doing the, the, or the surveys, also be honest on the surveys. Don't try to lie on the surveys just to qualify for that particular survey. If they find out that you're lying or not paying attention to the surveys, you will be disqualified from the survey and your account will be closed in all cases of all those websites. So I'll leave a link to those websites in the description specifically for surveyjunkie.com. Um, Toluna.com, OneOpinion.com, and YouGov.com.